I think I am finally fed up with all these trackers that are on the internet tracking all my behaviour. Why should it be any of their business? Bugger off, it is my business what I do. So, how has it all been happening with the trackers? Well, traditionally they would have used cookies, so disabling third-party cookies would have been a great way to get rid of that. Um, doesn't seem to work so much now. I don't know if it's been something to sort of circumvent the cookie blocking laws that we have in the UK, or cookie notification laws that actually get really annoying. But the way it's done is using a small one pixel image. They put a unique code from the website you're visiting. So on the stats log of this tracking company, they can see that IP, or what should we say, 127001 has accessed such and such website, let's say a news website. And then if a shopping website has the same, using the same tracking company, then they can also work out, oh, well, IP 127001 also likes shopping and news. And if you, visit, if you visit many different websites, they'll start building up a picture of you. And if at some point there they can get your name to the IP, great. They've learnt, built up a nice big picture about you. Now, of course, you might say that, oh, I've got absolutely nothing to hide. But what happens when you've been looking at some sort of illness, doing a lot of research about it, and then you go to renew your insurance and they've managed to work out, oh, you've been looking at this illness, maybe you suffer it and your premiums go up. Hmm. That's not so good, is it? Anyway, I've been messing around with Ghostery and Adblock Plus, and just from visiting about a dozen different websites, I came up with a, this list of trackers. And I found Ghostery was about 80% effective on them. I found a few more just by looking at Wireshark. But what I've been doing is trying to put this list of internet addresses into Adblock Edge. Um, I'm trying to do it that way rather than relying on Ghostery because I'm a bit suspicious about how this works. It sends a little block of data every few minutes back to the Ghostery IP, the Amazon EC2 web server, but it's encrypted, so I can't actually tell what it is. I can't really tell which way it's going, I haven't really looked at it enough, but I'm suspicious. Why is there this little bit of data being sent? Then I could be really suspicious and think, well, isn't this the perfect way for someone to build up more of a picture of you, give you the tools to think you're blocking everything, and then they're monitoring you and just sending the information back anyway? Now, I'm not saying that's what's happening, but I'm thinking, hmm, could be a bit suspicious if that's happening, though. But with Adblock Edge, as far as I can tell, it doesn't send any data back. So I'm using the custom blocking list and block everything that way. It's going to take a little bit of time, but I should be able to build up for most of the websites I visit. These two, on the other hand, were so stubborn that they were actually circumventing the blocking, so I've blocked them by DNS. But my plan is to block via the browser, not DNS, because it is quicker to block via the browser. Let's show you a bit of what's happening. So I'm going to fire up Wireshark, and we're going to use a capture filter of port 80, or port 443, or port 53, HTTP, HTTPS, or DNS. And we're going to go on bbc.co.uk. And already Ghostry has picked up a couple of different trackers. But let's see what Adblock Edge has done. Ah. So I've added scorecard research, e-digital survey, and stats.bbc.co.uk. Which ones did Ghostry get? Two out of three? In fact, that's worse, actually. I've got... Uh, it's missed out e-digital survey. Tut tut. So I can see which websites actually got opened. If I go on to the referrer of HTTP protocol request. If you haven't seen Wireshark before, this is uh, monitoring all the network activity through my network card and recording all the packets here. It's a bit of a technical program, but it's got quite some good uses about it. That's all the web pages that are opened from me visiting bbc.co.uk forward slash news. Just go into the main BBC web page and we need to change on that. There we go. Yeah, nothing. I'm going to try a couple of other pages. So Tesco, that was a good one. Google Analytics only, and I found another one earlier and added it to the list. 
This time I will search for DNS queries. And when did I visit the Tesco page? That was at 18 to 40 and about 45 seconds. That's everything here, right? Probably that lot. So we have domain name query lookups for secure.tesco.com, Tesco Bank, Clothing Tesco, Phone Shop at Tesco, My Tesco Broadband, Tesco Diets. All these different things were going to be opened. Oh, it still got that, didn't it? This was a troublesome one. clk.atdmt.com What should have happened here, though, is my DNS provider will have blocked that query. Funny, there's no mention of that on this web page. Try another website, Argus. And this goes mental on trackers. <laughs> That is unreal. Looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten trackers there. And I have blocked one, two, three, four, five, six. I've only blocked I've only blocked six of them. I think I got to this website, it was one of the last ones I did, and I was just absolutely fed up with all the trackers at this point. But I want to try out a different tool called Privacy Badger. First time using it. So let's get this installed and I'm going to see if I can replace Add block edge and ghostery with this. I'm going to disable that and we are going to disable add block edge as well. So bbc.co.uk. What's happened? Yeah, I think I've blocked a load of these already. So what else got opened then? Find a page I can look at. So sa.bbc referrer. I'm going to look at that. Appliers filter selected. E digital survey got opened, did it? And then got bounced back from open DNS. So I can't tell if that one worked because I've already blocked everything that the BBC are going to try and track me on. Let's try Tesco. Clear that. What have we got here? Could not detect any tracking cookies. I'll give over. You are only looking at cookies, aren't you? I've realized it's not looking for the images. So if I look for for the DNS. Apply. But the fact is it's failed because that web page will have still got loaded. clk.atdmt.com Argus. X bid switch. Right, you've got one. I'm going to block it and see what happens, but see if I can find it in here. Switch. Oh, my bad. String, packet details, find. Here it is. Follow TCP stream. So that's just trying to set a tracking cookie there. And you can see it's come up with a user ID, so a randomly generated user ID that's going to be based on my IP address. <laughs> Thanks. Clear that. Restart the live capture. Block that. I'm going to block that as well. We'll see what happens. Let's find it. Interesting. It's not there this time. So it has blocked it, but has it blocked everything that it could get? What is that? Why would I be looking at a query there for some weird address like there? So appliers filter selected. Uh -huh. Getting a unique labeled JavaScript there. Marvellous. TMVTP.com. A TCP stream. Another JavaScript. Pretty small. Could be tracking capabilities there. Metrics.argus.co.uk. That'd be a. Ah, there's a single pixel GIF. That's what I've been looking at, and that's what I was describing at the start of the video. A very small image with a unique ID that can log against your IP address. So that would track your usage, in this case, through the Argos website. So all in all, I don't think there is a particularly good answer on there. Um, Privacy Badger looks like it needs some other tools to go with it. It can't just be used on its own because uh, as I found there, it's not particularly effective. Perhaps a combination of Ghostery and Privacy Badger may stop things, but I'm I think Ghostery looks more effective. It's just 
it needs a bit more intelligence behind it to use Wireshark and that's not something everyone's going to be able to do. I'm going to leave the video there and maybe I'll come back to this topic at a later date. I'll see you all later.